first days are always pretty rough. We were able to do some stuff in the gym last week, but this is the first day we were on the field, and obviously it showed after a long weekend and probably tried to do a little too much on the first day, but uh, we'll get better from here. You're going to go all week, and I know you're just looking for improvement every week. Yeah, basically, yeah, day to day improvements, what we're looking for. You know, your younger guys, you know, their heads are spinning right now because it's brand new to them, but uh, certainly we've got a lot of work to get done as we go to team camp on Friday and Saturday. Uh, you do have some uh, guys back, and uh, they know what's going on. That, that helps. Oh, it makes a big difference. We, we certainly return a lot more starters than we did a year ago, and those guys are, are in pretty good shape as far as knowing their assignments and executing those assignments. We just got to get the, uh, the backups and the younger guys ready. Okay, you go to Hallsville. Uh, what, Higginsville. For, Higginsville for mm -hmm. two days? Yep. Mm -hmm. Two days. Uh, we looking forward for that. Well, it's always good early in the year to kind of see where you are. We'll make some personnel decisions. We've still got some guys we're not sure where we want to put them, and we can film those scrimmages and kind of evaluate that. And it's a good early summer kind of evaluation for all of our kids. You can really learn a lot, though, from this first week on what's going on to set your plans for later. That's exactly right. We do an early week for that reason, just so we can kind of get everything in place, and the rest of the summer then we're, we're just trying to polish those guys and, and get them in the spots where we need them.